DLO, what's pop? We are on Twitch. We are live. And by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. You see it right behind me. Little warning screen, man. I don't know what's going to be talked about in this video, but from the thumbnails, it looks spicy. So here's my warning, YouTube. Uh, don't forget twitch.com if you want to catch a live. The username is right at the bottom of the screen. We also got merch and we got Patreon. We post five days a week. Uh, this is Paul Thorpe. This is Paul Thorpe's channel. It's called Why UK is F U asterisk K asterisk D. Let's get into it. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. See, that's the title. I wanted y'all to see it. Like, I, I just, you know, anywho. So, yesterday I get a phone call from my youngest daughter and she says, Dad, I'm feeling really upset, really disturbed. I said, What's the matter? She said, I've seen this video on TikTok and it's just like... You said your youngest daughter. Okay. I have a daughter myself. So. Done my head in. And I said, well, send it to me. Let's have a look. So let's have a little look at the video that upset us so much. So they saw him walking alone. Uh, we live in a very small village, so this is not a, a major city. Um, it was in the middle of the day as well. And they saw him walking alone across the field. And they all turned on their telephones to video it um, on social media, live on social media. Um, they and live streamed this, it? Yes. Live streamed what? These, this group charged my son. Oh. He was alone, defenseless. Um, they charged him. There was a group of about nine of them. Oh. Um, and as soon as he saw them coming, he just froze. They were all hooded, um, had masks on, and... He just fell to the ground in fear. Um, makes me really emotional oh, still God, talking Sandy, about I it. I can't imagine. How old he is your son at this point? He was just a teenager. He was 15. He was 15. And he was walking across a field to go and meet a girl. Um, so it was, yeah, it was uh, just just awful. Um, so, yeah, so this group charged him. Um, on the video, you see him fall to the floor um, just in, in fear, pure fear. Um, they all circle around him and they all start kicking him. Oh, um, and then this small boy, um, just you just see him on the corner of the screen run in and something happens. You can't see it very clearly on the video. Um, I've had to watch this. The police showed it to me and it was it was just the most horrific thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, and you see this small boy kind of come in from the side of the screen, run in, and then everybody disperses really quickly. It's the bizarre thing to watch. And my son... The young boy came in with a bladed article. ...still on the floor in the fetal position, and you see the wobbling of all the cameras as everyone's running away. They didn't know if my son was alive or dead at that point, and they just videoed it and put it all over the internet. The perpetrator was identified because he was the smallest of the group. So from the video, he was able to be identified who he was. Um, he was, he admitted to the attack of stabbing my son. Um, and he was uh, asked to write a letter of apology. That was his punishment. Not really. Wait, wait a minute now. Who who's who said that was his punishment? Like this went to trial and court judge lawyers and all of that? And his letter was an apology? I mean his apology was a note? I swear the court ordered him to write a letter of apology and there was a fifty pound fine attributed to the case. Uh, listen, before you get into it, my boy, this is what I always be saying. The leniency the level of leniency does not curve the crime in the UK. No one cares if they're about to get locked up in the UK because they're going to do a little bit of nothing. 
suspended sentence here, half of a sentence here. You know what I'm saying? Sentencing that doesn't fit the crime. Like, you got to actually do top tier things to get real sentences in the UK. And even at that, that's still flawed. I mean, you know. A, but a apology letter is jokes. If somebody ever wrote it, I no, somebody wrote one to me before and I ripped it up and told them fight me. <laughs> my bad, this is a serious. That was the justice that my son got. I, do, I honestly, something is going very, very badly wrong. Well, when I was 18, I got jumped by 30 people and uh, I lost three teeth, had to get five root canals. My head was the size of a basketball. Uh, I didn't get nothing. I got a free hospital trip, hospital food, and, you know, I did get something, but it, it wasn't from the court, though. Very, very badly wrong in this country if a 15-year-old boy can be stabbed in the head, left for dead, bleeding at the side of the road, and a letter of apology and a £50 fine is considered it. That honestly, that is one of the most. Bro didn't even get young offenders or anything. He got an apology letter. He, like, I feel like for G, like that, that's GBH or or what is that? Because he actually had a bladed article and used it with intent. He should have, like, I, I don't wish jail upon nobody. But he should have got some 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 type of time. Because on a normal, like, normally, like, I would see people getting time. He got to have, that, whoever that was, whoever son that was had to have some type of motion or some some type of clout. Astonishing calls I've ever taken and, frankly, has left me utterly speechless. Where do you even start? Where do you even start? A 15-year-old boy set upon by a gang of yous in a park for no other reason they wanted to live stream an attempted murder um, by the sounds of it I think the boy survived but my daughter was so distressed that I thought you know what I've got to find this woman I've got to hear her story because I've spoken to you guys so many times in the past about the criminal justice system in this country and how it values us how it treats us and the fact that it won't enable us to defend ourselves when they just don't give a shit about Man, it. I said that all the time too. I said it in my videos like, bro, y'all have no level of self-defense. The criminals are going to get the weapons no matter what the rules are. These rules are only for law-abiding law citizens that literally can't have no defense. Oh, well, I can. I got these against, against what are we fighting? This verse a nine millimeter is not a fair fight or against a, a machete it's not a fair fight <laughs> any of us it makes my blood boil so i decided to try and find this family i decided to try and google this crime and i typed in 15 year old boy stabbed in a park etc etc i tried all the different terms teenagers stabbed in park etc buried <laughs> And I couldn't find it. And do you know why I couldn't Never find it? Because it there are hundreds of them. Oh, okay. Go and look for yourselves. Type in teenager stabbed. Teenager stabbed in park. Take your pick. London, Birmingham, Newcastle, Plymouth, Bristol. You name it. It's happening every day of the week, it seems. My bad. This is a serious thing, but... Was that just sassy? Drinking out of a glass bottle with a straw? My fault. Right across the country. What has happened to this country, our police and our criminal justice system, when people feel they can go around doing this stuff to their fellow human beings without seemingly any recourse? In this case, a 50 pound fine and a letter of apology. Why didn't the judge just stick another knife yeah. Into that poor boy's mother. Insult to injury. Honestly. I'm just almost lost for words. Make of it what you will. Tell me what you think. Am I right? Am I wrong? Have we completely and utterly 
lost the goddamn plot in this country? Have we gone mad? Our victims no longer cared for, the, the victims no longer matter. And Labour, I read yesterday that Labour want to ban, a complete blanket ban on swords. Yes, swords. Now, I did a bit of research. On swords? Who's using swords in the UK for crime? It's the most used weapon, the most used bladed article is a kitchen knife. What is that going to do? That help that app that that helps nothing. Y'all cut it out out there. I did a bit of research on this. Virtually I could not find a single crime committed with a sword in the UK in the last year. I couldn't find one. Machetes, yes. Large knives, yes. Kitchen knives, as many as you can shake a stick at. But Labour have got this idea in their head now that banning swords would be an answer to a problem. No. A blanket ban. So you can say goodbye to the Edinburgh military tower. You can say goodbye to the thousands of people that do historical... Whoever came up with this blanket ban, they watched too much uh, CCTV. They watched the dramatic, rare instances where you see somebody with a sword. And they're like, oh my God, we got to do this. That's Reenactments that. across the country. You can say goodbye to fencing as a complete sport all on its own. Just like you can now say goodbye to shoeing. Even our Olympic shoeers have to go abroad to practice. These governments that we vote in are mad enough to vote these people in. They keep banning things, trying to make us safer or so they think. But actually, things are just getting worse and worse and worse. You can even... It says the answer to the problem is always to take away more of our freedoms. That's what it said. Even say goodbye to anyone being knighted. Because to be knighted, the king would use a sword. And a blanket ban on swords is a blanket ban. It's just crazy. It's just absolutely start raving bonkers. And people wonder why I've had enough. Oh, oh, oh. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post, let me know what you think.